Packer and Durham. So fitting. So, so fitting. Tried to tell you for weeks, Virginia's number one in the Pac-Man rowing rankings. And guess what the ladies did? They went to Lake Hartwell and proved it. That's Western, right. For the they 12th did. consecutive year. That's right. And uh, let's go live to Charlottesville this morning, friends. As Packer and Durham continues to make history, show 628, we welcome V.V. Van Ingen, the coxswain of the Virginia Rowing Atlantic Coast Conference Champions. V.V., good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you guys? We're good. Now explain to everybody where you are and what's going on. All right, so I'm currently in our boat bay in Charlottesville. We are about to practice this morning, so I'm sitting just behind some of our boats. All right, since uh, you're going to do a little practice, do you just kind of get like a Velcro strip and stick that ACC title right there on the edge of it as uh, motivation as you get ready for the NCAAs? You know, I actually told everyone to bring their medals to wear around their neck for the row. Um, so that's going to be our motivation for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like that. Um, I get it. I want – I want to ask you here about the coxswain and the position you have in this and the leadership and all the little things that go into successful rowing. Because not only does everybody see you kind of at the front of the boat or back of the boat, but they see you, yeah, yeah, the back of the boat, they see you as somebody who is um, almost like the coach on the water, right? I mean, is that fair to say? Correct. Yes. So take me through that part of being successful with a rowing championship team. So what I tell people is I'm basically the eyes of the boat. Obviously, the rowers are facing another direction, so they can't see where we're going. So I kind of equate it to almost being a jockey in a horse race. Um, I'm telling the rowers where we are, where the other crews are, what we need to do to move, when we need to move, and how to do it. Um, so it's basically just being the eyes of the bow and the voice of the rowers. VV, uh, since everybody's got their back towards the finish line, they know where everybody is. I mean, you guys are always in first place. They're like, hey, VV, we know, man. We can see Great our competition. Points. They're on the rearview mirror. That's what Virginia does when they get on the water, right? Everybody's exactly. in the rearview mirror. <laughs> That's the goal. Hopefully I'm not needed. There, well, no, you're definitely needed. Now, listen, <laughs> there was all kinds of speculation, man. Here comes Syracuse. They're red hot. Virginia's had a great run, 11 consecutive years. It's going to come to an end. I know <laughs> that you heard that and were like, hey, forget that nonsense. We're down. We're going to Lake Hartwell to go ahead and win another title. Oh, totally. We That was the game plan from the beginning. That's what my crew talked about. That's what my coach talked about. That's what I knew. So... We were just executing what we were setting out to do. All right, Vivi, I want you to – you just took us on a small walking tour here, I think, to change locations. Um, yes. Kind of show us around if you can. And, look, we know it's uh, FaceTime yeah. technology here. Show us a little of the uh, of the boathouse here if you can because this looks pretty fascinating totally. behind you. Yeah, so right now I'm standing behind some of our oars. Um let me see if I can show this camera. So this is my station, the coxswain station. These are all of the tools that we use, the technology. So our cox boxes, which is what I yell into so that the rowers can hear me. Um, they display all kinds of numbers that like show us our speed and how fast we're going. So it's pretty organized. And then we walk over here. This is our main boat bay. This is where I put some lineups, a lot of our boats, and some more oars. Huh. Now, how many boats do we have in there? Right now, probably about six. We're in the process of rigging them, which is where we put the riggers back on so that we can go out and row on the water. Um, huh. So you guys are really getting an in-depth tour right now. <laughs> yeah. See, I think it's cool. Yeah. I. Um, yeah. Here's the other thing, too. Now, I've been told, uh, you know, because you've got an ACC network tie, I found out last night. You are cousins with Jay Alter's wife, Liz, right? And you guys are very yes, close, as I understand, correct. right? Okay, so Basically a sister. that's it. That's what I heard. Um, so I, I feel confident since you're kind of partially on the ACC network by relationship. Um, <laughs> you are uh, the smallest person on the team, correct? Yes, one of the. I'm okay. surrounded by giants. Yes. 
So I know they carried the shell, the boat, the shell to the water. What do you do? Do you cheer them on, direct them to carry the shell? How does that work in your role? Um, I, again, like tell them where to go. I'm kind of like the game plan. Um, I tell them where we are, basically when to move, where to move. Um, I'm carrying my stuff, like all the things that I just showed you, the Cox mm-hmm. box, my speed coaches, <laughs> making sure that we have everything so that we're ready to go. Usually the walk is pretty short, so I'm not really saying anything like super motivational. Um, yeah. Usually it's just about getting the boat in the water efficiently. Um, and then as soon as we launch, take it from there. By the way, I can only imagine, because all these lakes are awesome, and I like lakes. Oceans, i got a problem with it. Lakes, I love. But there's got to be just a serene, peaceful feeling, especially when you're going to go to practice early. Oh, there's Coach Sauer. Hey, Coach. Good coach. morning. Good morning, Kevin. Coach. There he is. Back here in Durham. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, hey. good to see you. Okay. Yeah, there we have it. Yeah, look at us. Playing all the hits. Okay. All right. Yeah. Maybe I was going to say, though, there's got to be something cool about being on the water before the sun comes up. Because I know how you guys get up early and get moving. I mean, that peaceful, oh, so serene feeling has got to be the best in the world, isn't it? I mean, I can't imagine it being any better than that. It's honestly the best feeling. It's truly what made me fall in love with the sport. Um, there's nothing else like it especially when you're in a boat that the lineup is gelling the boat is just floating it's really the best feeling ever when everyone's like on the same time um it feels like the boat picks up out of the water and you're floating and almost flying a little bit so it's really cool and we're really lucky charlottesville is beautiful the river that we row on in the morning will have steam that rises off the water that makes it just completely like beautiful all right, you are uh, highly decorated in this sport. Um, you have had a, uh, a remarkable club career before you got to Virginia, and obviously you guys have been immensely successful in Charlottesville. What does it take to be successful in this? Because everybody sees it, and we all recognize you know, how much teamwork goes into it and everything else. But what separates good to great, Vivi? That's a great question that I'm constantly chasing and trying to find the answer to. Um, I think that it's honestly like any other sport, dedication and passion is really what it comes down to and what you're willing to put in is what you're going to get out. For Coxons, a lot of that is like listening to recordings, listening to, I like to listen to a lot of Olympians like Mary Whipple um, and kind of emulating some of their style to create your own. So I would say if you listen to a Coxon's recording, none of them sound the exact same, but I like to pick and choose parts that I like from multiple different like mentors and idols to kind of create my own style, if that makes sense. Yeah. By the way, have you ever seen a a, a boat tip over in a race? I've actually been in a boat that's tipped over. It's quite, quite scary. So tell me what happens at that point in time. Other than, hey, let's not drown. Um, so usually it's like, obviously at this level, that doesn't happen, especially in bigger boats. When I was in high school, I was, it was just like a leisurely row. Um, one of the oars actually snapped, so the boat couldn't balance. I was in a four-person boat. Um, and that kind of boat, the coxswain is laying down. So we started flipping, and I didn't really understand what was going on because I'm facing forward. I didn't see that the oar had snapped. So it was kind of like a slow motion, um, but yet super fast. And it was really scary. But at that point, everyone just kind of like falls out of the boat. Um, It feels really surreal, but everyone was totally safe. The boat flips over, it floats. Everyone kind of swims out and you're like, oh my goodness, is everyone okay? And then a safety launch will come and rescue us. It's only happened to me once, so... Knock on wood that that's the end for me. Well, let's hope so. That's it for that deal. But again, congratulations on the 12th consecutive Mm -hmm. ACC championships. You guys are a a dynasty in Charlottesville. But before we let you go, though, Vivi, the hardest question. Since you've been at the University of Virginia, yeah, since you've been at UVA, what has been your hardest class? Oh, my hardest class. Um, That's a great question. I honestly can't think of a incredibly challenging one my first year um people had told me that there was this astronomy class was really easy i just needed another class i was 
signed in for all of my other requirements. I was like, okay, astronomy sounds cool, right? Like, sounds really easy. Wrong. It was so hard. Uh I think it was hard because I had the expectation that it was going to be my easiest class. But it actually turned out to be one of my hardest classes that semester. Um, It was really interesting. I did learn a lot. But I wouldn't tell people that it was incredibly easy. Hmm. So I I think I needed a mindset change. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys finished fourth nationally uh, last season. We wish you all the best this year and uh, look forward to following the prowess of Virginia (laughs) rowing in the NCAAs. Thank you. Yes, we leave in a week and a half. All right. Take care. Thanks, VV. Be well. Thanks for having me. Have a good one. Yeah, appreciate the tour. You bet. Nice.